Hello, my friends. Welcome again. So we have made, uh, we displayed the, all the employees. We don't have any now, but we can, if we have, we display here. And we created this form. Now it's time to store uh, employee. And if I open the VS code, here we have the form, uh, the table, sorry. And here we have the button for the new employee. I'm going to open this or just like always this in the right and the blade in the left. So here we have rules, we show the edit model and we add the ID. We don't have the state ID here, we need to add the uh, employee ID, employee ID here, edit mode and we need to change this to be load employee like this and employee find this uh, employee ID and with that employee is the employee find this employee ID and this country ID is going to be the employee country ID and we have the first name and all of that we need to add it here so dollar sign this First name is going to be the employee first name and copy and paste change this to be last name and here last name paste it here Here is the middle name and here the middle name as well. Okay, this again. Uh, we have the address and the address here. Okay, we have the country ID which is now I'm going to add the state ID and state ID here okay paste again now city ID and here city ID now is the department ID And I see we don't have here the department ID, we forget, department ID is going to be required. Okay, yeah, we have a department ID, so here change this to be department ID and also here department ID okay A zip code birth date and date hired so zip code and zip code like this birth date and uh, I need to open the table plus to see what we the exact name for the build date we have employee labor open uh, employees 
constructor and we have the yeah birth date like this and the last one is the date hired and date hired like this okay now here we have delete state and change this to delete employee and employee find id also we need to change this to be dollar sign employee so delete employee employee find the id and delete and change this to be employee message and here employee successfully deleted okay show employee model that's okay close model store now store uh, employee this validated and the employee create and i'm going to copy the what we have here and uh, paste it here but instead of this we need to do is dollar sign this last name and here this first name uh, and here we need that last name like this first name like this uh, middle name like this address uh, country ID like this state ID like this city ID like this and department ID like this okay zip code birth date and uh, date hired okay copy this one select all and paste now here is the middle name so middle name here is the address okay country id uh, state id city id department id okay zip code birth date here and the date hired okay reset this part with the employee message and employee successfully created if i save and go to the browser refresh here new employee and we have i have a fake filler here And with fake killer I have a error because we filled the search as well. So I'm going to say this uh, 
not lazy but what we have here def defer so like this and now if I refresh new employee fake filler nothing happened store employee and store state not found on compound okay and I think we have store state here while click yes store state not store state but store employee and also update employee save come here refresh new employee fake filler store employee and incorrect integer value choose for column column department id okay why is that department id like this refresh again new employee fake filler and country yeah store employee we have an incorrect date value because we have the date as it is like like this but the we expect uh, like this okay and for that uh, I'm going to add here the carbon I'm going to use carbon parse and this birth date and I'm going to format in in uh, this uh, way okay we need to import the carbon import carbon carbon and the same thing for the date hired okay change this to be date hired save uh, go to the browser refresh new employee fake filler here and choose yeah everything okay store employee and yeah here we are employee successfully created okay friends this is how we can uh, start the employee in the next video i'm going to edit and delete the employee all the best see you in the next video